Do you know about your feet fans? Just love life, honestly, there's so much life in this world. Just love life. Like Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought it'd be fun to sit with you guys, do my makeup and answer some of your questions. I did do this in my first ever video. Um, but yeah, I feel like I haven't answered any questions that you guys might have for a long time. Um, obviously because I've only done it once in my first video and I had like three subscribers. So, yeah, that is what we shall be doing today. Um, I thought I'd get ready at the same time because it gives you something to look at, you know what I mean? I'm probably really boring to just sit and watch as I speak. And um, I am going out. So, oh, my camera is dirty. So, yeah, that is what we're doing today. So, I have already done my foundation because, um, I just fancied doing it off camera. Um, but yeah, if you do enjoy this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe there. I will it now. Subscribe there. Um, obviously only if you want to, and if you want to see more of me in your subscription box and on your screen. Um, I got loads of questions, so I'm just going to have to go through and choose the most recent ones or whatever because, honestly, there is... Wait, I'll show you. Where's the bottom? Like... Yeah. So, the first question I'm going to answer is... What is your job? Um, this is supposed to be getting ready at the same time isn't it? I'll just answer this one really quickly. So my job, I have mentioned it before, um, I work for the council and basically I just do admin for social workers pretty much. Um, next question is how much do you love me and who is your favourite YouTuber? I did say I'll keep these questions anonymous but I mean I can answer that one because you know. So yeah Rosie I do love you a lot um, and my favourite YouTuber is actually Ellie Darby. Um, I've been watching her for ages now, and I don't know why. I just feel like she's the most like real out of all the YouTubers that I watch. Like her style of videos, if that makes sense. Um, so there's two questions. They're kind of similar. It says one is how did I meet my boyfriend, and one is what made me fall in love with. Wait, what does it say? What made you fall in love with your boyfriend? So I actually met Tom. Um, a little bit before we started going out, so we were just at a party at my friend's house, um, and I met him there. Uh, we, I don't really remember, like, I'm not gonna lie, I was really drunk. Um, this was in, like, 2015, I think. Um, I'll try and insert a picture. We literally just clicked straight away, like, um, we were dancing around with shower caps on our head, honestly just having the best time ever. But that was when we met, um, but we didn't actually obviously get together then. Um, we then didn't speak for ages, like, I just kind of forgot about him after that party, like, I know it sounds really bad, but, like, obviously it was nothing, so, didn't really think about it. Um, and then he came to my school, so he started sick form where I was going to school. Um, and yeah, we just clicked again, like, and that was when, like, Snapchat streaks were a thing, so we just had a Snapchat streak. And yeah, that is basically how we met, just through friends of friends and school and parties and that kind of thing and um, what made me fall in love with him um sorry i've lost my my brush oh, hi you just spat on my feet <laughs> what do you want nothing what do you want too shy what made me fall what made me fall in love with Tom? Um, I don't know. So I would say maybe like the fact that we're literally the same person. Like honest to God, we are the exact same person. 
we like the same things, we say the same things at the same time, we think the same things, quite like honestly we are just the exact same person. But also I think maybe like the fact he just did not give up trying to get with me, like as cliche as that sounds, honestly he tried so so hard and it was so cute, like honestly God it really was so so cute. Like we're not really kind of like that, like we're more like I mean, we 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 love each other, obviously, but we're not like that kind of like cringy, can't keep our hands off each other kind of people. We more just like laugh and stuff. Like we're like best friends, like actual best friends. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably what it was that we are literally the same person, and it honestly makes such a difference. Like being with someone that you genuinely like, get on with and stuff like that. So yeah, that is what I would say. Well, so what area of England do you live in? So I actually live in Oxfordshire. Um, I live in Bicester. If any of you know where that is, Bicester Village, you probably all know that. Um, but yeah, that is in Oxfordshire, so that is where I am from. I've always lived here, probably always will live here. Everyone's always like, I can't wait to get out of Bicester. I don't really care, to be honest. Um, I'll go wherever my life takes me. But yeah, I am from Bicester. What made you create your YouTube channel? Um, I don't really know, so I've always wanted to do YouTube. I don't know if any of you have found this channel yet or know about this channel. I know if you're from Bicester, you probably do if you went to school with me. So me and my friend Alice actually made a YouTube channel when we were about 12 and it's so embarrassing. Like, pray to God no one ever finds it because we don't know the password and it's, I mean, it's not ideal to still be going around, but yeah, I have done YouTube before obviously it was nothing ever like serious and I did plan for it to be like a lifetime thing back then but yeah I have always been interested in YouTube and then I started watching it more and I just want to do it like I honestly loved it and yeah basically I've always wanted to do it and I just thought you know what, I'm gonna give it a go and it's grown so quickly and it's just proved to me why I'm so sorry I'm silent and it's just proved to me why I've always wanted to do it because like Honestly, everything that everyone says is just so amazing and yeah, it's great basically. I just love it and if you're thinking of doing it, definitely do it. Favourite makeup product of all time? I don't really have one. I'm not really like, obviously I wear makeup, but I'm not really like a big makeup kind of fan. Like, I don't really know much about makeup. I just kind of put on what other people use. Um, yeah, I really don't think I have one. I mean, every single day, like... I find new foundations all the time, I'm like, oh this is my favourite, but then I have a new favourite the week after, so I wouldn't say a foundation. Same with bronzers, I think they will kind of do the same thing. Um, but lipstick maybe, maybe a lipstick because the only lipstick I wear is um, Honey Love or Bare Bling by MAC, I don't know if you guys know what they are, but maybe those, because I do wear them every time I go out, every time I have something on my lips, it's going to be... Oh, so yeah, maybe them. I don't know. I don't really have them to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. Do you have any siblings? Yeah, so I have three sisters. Um, they are all older than me. One is 22, one is 26, and one is 27. She's 28 tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I have three siblings. And then my sister actually said, who is your favourite sister? And um, I mean, she probably knows it's her. Like, that's why she's asking it. But no, I'm joking. I don't really have a favourite. I'd say they're all favourites in different ways. Do you want to get married? If so, at what age? This girl's actually asked me loads of questions, so I'm just going to pick a couple of first. Um, yeah, I do want to get married. Um, I mean, I'm not really bothered about the age. So I'm just trying to find my... Oh, my God, this has gone this way. Um, yeah, I do want to get married, so I'm going to have to come close to come to my brows. Yeah, I do want to get married. However, I'm not really fussed about the timing of everything. Like, I feel like, oh no, my battery's flashing. I feel like life is life and whatever happens in life, happens in life. Um, I mean, I definitely want to get married, like 100% want to get married. But I'm not entirely fussed on the age. I would like to be married by the time I'm like 25, 26, just because I do want children as well. Um, so yeah, obviously whenever it happens, it happens. But I'd rather get married younger. So Tom, you better take note to my little humble. Um, but yeah, I want to get married abroad and I want a massive wedding and yeah. So 
So I definitely will get married and I do want to get married, but I'm not too fussed about the age. Like so many people have like a plan in life, like by 20 I'm gonna have two kids, by blah blah blah. 20, that's quite young. By 25 I want two kids, I'm married, a job, blah blah blah. But I mean life is life and whatever happens happens. But yeah, I definitely do want to get married. Um and I would ideally like to be married by 20, 25, 26. So my camera did actually just die, so I had to put it on charge quick. And I have done my eyebrows. Um, I'm not sure if the camera's going to be in a different place now. I can't really remember where I put it. So apologies if you've moved it out, but it's all right. Um, so it's going to start flashing again because I didn't let it charge for long. I literally had about 30 questions asking me, what fake tan do I use? So I actually don't use fake tan. Um, I do get some beds. I'm not promoting some beds. I'm not saying you should get some beds, guys. Um, my mum tells me off for getting them. I know how unsafe they are. However, yeah, I do get some beds. Um, if I do fake tan, I do tend to use the St. Moritz one. Um, it's like £3 from Wilkinson's. I think most girls have used it in their life. Um, but yeah, again, I'm not promoting some beds. If you are young, please don't think you should go and get a some bed. I mean, it's your life. If you want to go get one, get one. But... That's not me saying to get them. Fake tan is obviously a lot safer. And I never used to get sunbeds. Um, it's only in the past year that I've been getting them. Once you start, you just go and stop, basically. So that is what fake tan I use. I mean, you could say it's fake, but I mean, it's not really because it is natural and it doesn't wash off. So yeah, that is what fake tan I use. Was it sore getting your nose pierced? and did you get it pierced with a hoop or a stud so literally this time two years ago now um i got it pierced on this side with a stud um unfortunately it just kind of got grotty and horrible and i tried to change it to a hoop and it fell out and closed up and yeah it was a nightmare so then a couple of weeks ago i got re, re pierced oh god sorry about the light and i got re, re pierced with a hoop um Yes, it did really hurt. I'm not going to lie and say it didn't hurt because it did. Um, it hurt for about five seconds though. It was not a long kind of pain. Um, however, she did say not to open my eyes when there was a big needle sticking through it. But when someone tells you not to do something, you can't help but do it. So yeah, that kind of made the pain more... Like, it made it hurt more because I could see this big needle sticking through my nose. Um, but it was worth the pain and honestly it lasted for about five seconds. Yeah, definitely definitely worth it is youtube your full-time job or what's your career plan so like i said youtube isn't my full-time job i am lucky enough to get paid for it now but nowhere near enough for it to be my full-time job uh maybe one day it will be but right now i don't have a career plan i have no idea what i'm doing with my life this is just something on the side and even if i didn't get paid for it i would still absolutely love doing it um what grades did you get in school so everyone thought i got really bad grades in school i don't know why maybe because i hardly went or because i didn't really listen in school again not good i actually did really well in school um so in my gcse's i got mainly a's and b's and then c's and then i did my as levels uh, i didn't stay at sick for my only did one year but in my as levels i got b two b's and a c which I was really proud of so yeah I actually did really well in school so what camera do you use to edit and what app I think I mean what what computer do I use to edit I use a Mac book Air and I use iMovie to edit so this isn't a question but it's really kind so somebody said you're such a lovely girl which is really cute do you know about your feet fans Okay, so following on from the grades question, someone said, do you miss school? And yes, I would do absolutely anything to go back to school. I would not go back to sixth form even if you paid me. I hated sixth form, but school from years 8 to 10, possibly year 11. Year 11 was a good year. Obviously, it was GCSEs, but it was actually a really good year. I honestly would go back to school. I would give up everything to go back to school, honestly. Like, they were the best years of my life. Looking back, it's like seeing everyone every single day. I hardly see anyone anymore. And honestly, I would do anything to go back to school so please 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 make the most of being at school and i know everyone's like oh they're the best years of your life you're gonna miss them when you don't go honestly it's the truth i would literally do anything to go back to school 
Someone said, what makeup do you use and any tips? Um, I literally use a £1 foundation from Boots. Um, it's the best foundation ever. I'm not sure if you can see because of the light. Honestly, it's incredible. That is the foundation I use. I use Lottie London powder. I use Oh Darling by MAC as a highlighter. A Primark pencil for my brows. Hula by Benefit for my bronzer. Don't wear mascara because I have my eyelashes done. Um, and then I use Max. MAC Fix Plus as a set and spray and lip liner I tend to use NYX one, this NYX one in the shade Sandstorm and then I use Bare Bling or Honey Love as lipstick. Oh, I don't have any tips for me, oh and I use NYX, can't stop, work, stop concealer. I wouldn't say I have any tips because I have no idea what I'm doing, I just pop it on. Um, Less is more, I would say. Um, tend to build things up rather than just whack it on straight away. Uh, other tips that I have. I don't think I can possibly give you any tips because, like I said, I am the best at makeup. What do you love about, most about doing YouTube videos? I think just like... Because actually, when you actually think about the concept of that, I'm literally just sat chatting to myself. Like honestly I'm sat at a camera just talking to myself but it's just so fun like I honestly just love it and like when I'm by myself I just want someone to talk to so I just get the camera out and sit and chat to myself. I don't know what I love most about it, I just love the whole thing honestly. I don't know, just filming my whole life really, being able to chat to people that I wouldn't normally speak to, having all of these people message me every day saying how much they love my videos and all of that kind of thing, It's honestly it's such a good feeling like honestly like the best feeling. Um, maybe that then, yeah, maybe like the people that I get to speak to every day and know that I'm making like feel positive about things and making them feel like they can do stuff they want to do and yeah, I guess that, oh, look at my hair, I guess that would probably be my favourite thing, just speaking to different people every single day about my videos and seeing how much you guys love them and yeah. How do you deal with stress aka what do you do to calm yourself down? So I'm not saying this to be like cocky, like, because I know people get stressed, they really do and it's not nice and stuff like that, but I'm pretty blessed to like, never really feel stressed. I don't really have anything to stress about. Like, I'm so grateful to have a really good group of friends. I mean, I don't have a massive group of friends. Um, I've got who I need, I know who are my friends. I could probably put them on a hand, like honestly, I could put my friends on a hand. Um, and by that I mean people that actually care about me, that want to speak to me, that care about what I'm doing, things like that. They are friends to me. So I think I'm quite lucky that I have that and I found someone that I don't have to worry about. Like I trust Tom with absolutely everything, like there's not one part of me that doesn't trust him. Like not one part I don't have anything in me that does not trust Tom at all and I think that is really good like that stops me getting stressed um my family is absolutely amazing so I just don't have anything to stress about like I've got a house well not my own house but I live in a really nice house I have a job I've got income coming in I've learned how to drive I've got a lovely boyfriend I've got a lovely group of friends like I don't have anything to stress about like and I know that's really not a nice thing to say because so many people deal with stress every single day and I'm there like, oh, I don't get stressed. But I don't. I'm not going to sit here and say, this is how I cope with it because I wouldn't know how to cope with it. I mean, I get stressed at work, like, if someone comes in and I'm stressed out. But I don't know. If I was to be stressed, I'd probably just go to bed. Like, honestly, I know that's a crap bit of advice but if I felt stressed I would probably just go into bed and go to sleep and then you don't have to deal with it. Sorry guys my camera just died again. Um, I think I was saying that about stress or something um, but yeah if you guys get stressed just love life. Honestly there's so much life in this world just love life like I don't have time to be stressed. Honestly I do not have time to be stressed. If anything's gonna stress me out then it ain't worth being in my life so that is what I live by. I don't let myself get stressed. Um, so that is kind of like a positive, negative note to end on, whichever way you interpret interpreted that answer. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this video here because I am now ready. Um, just going to get changed, sort my hair out, and then I am off to Tom's auntie's house. So.
So, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope all of my new subscribers, because obviously in my last video I only had like three subscribers, um, I hope everybody that has recently joined my channel has got to know me a little bit better and taken something from this video. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and if you did, please, please, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao! It's one love, y'all. Forever and ever. We are free. We are love. We're round. We're skinny. We're big. We're small. But we have love in our heart. And we want you in. As long as you bring the love.